Okay, folks, let's do a quick video on how to update your iPilot and your iPilot link. Now, I'm going to update my iPilot link. First thing you need to do is go get the app, and I do all my stuff on an iPhone. So, here's the two apps. Now, you notice I've downloaded both of them because in some cases, people that run iPilots don't run Humminbird Electronics, so this is the only way to update them. Personally, if you have a iPilot link, I find it much easier and quicker, and as far as I'm concerned, probably safer to update with the wire. But So here's what you do. You download the app. You open it. Okay, you can see that we are connected. Now, if you don't know how to connect to your, your motor to your phone, you simply go to your Bluetooth settings, and on top of your motor is a pair button. And you hold that pair button down until the iPilot link connects to your Bluetooth. Now on an iPhone, you hold it down, iPilot link pops up, and then you have to touch iPilot link and then it will connect. But you have to hold it down. It's going to beep at you, but you have to hold it down until you get that connection. Okay, so let's go in top left corner says iPilot link software now you can register your unit you can get help but this is what we're after okay controller version 1.2 software available remote version new software available okay so we're gonna touch on new software available and it tells you what you have for current version and then it you know gives you some release notes and blah 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 so anyway the remote we're going to press to begin update. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you, are, if you don't have a good connection, like a good wireless or something, this is probably going to take a while. Uh, you know, I've, I've had guys actually try to do some of it on the lake, and even though it works, you know, just at least in our neck of the woods, you don't have a very good connection. But, okay, let's do this. Whoop. Press to begin update. Requirements it says keep device in range. Do not remember to keep app in the foreground. So you got to keep the app in the foreground. You can't go to another app and run it. Going to hit continue. And now this is this is where it gets a little nerve wracking to me. I don't know what might happen if you know maybe a phone call come in. If you noticed up at the top, I have mine on uh, airplane mode. So maybe that won't happen. But also, my battery is nearly completely charged. You notice in the top right corner. But I'm just telling you, if you're using an iPilot link, I have another video showing how to update your link with an SD card through the unit. Do that. I mean, personally, that's the way I would do it. So let's let this run its course. And at some point, I may chop this out of the video, but I may not. It's not that long. Got to keep that live. I forgot, normally I go set my phone to where it won't go to sleep, but I forgot to do that. It has to be in the foreground. Now, those of you that have a fairly fast internet connection, mine is 25 megabytes a second, I think. 
I think it may be a little faster, but anyway, those of you who have a really fast internet connection and you have good wireless, I have commercial grade wireless in my house, so I have my wireless will handle any internet speed you can throw at it. So your wireless might make it a little slower, but it doesn't take long. Either way, just be aware of the fact that the slower your internet connection or the slower your wireless, the longer it's going to take. All right, it says iPilot is restarting. Click OK. I think it has to restart itself. And I may have had the last last time I did this, or I had an iPilot that I may have even had to reconnect it, but it's it's all updated. Okay. There it goes. All right. So now the iPilot is updated. So our next step is to take the remote, and I meant to clean the screen, but I didn't. And we're gonna turn the remote on, and we're gonna go to agree, and it says new software update available. So we're gonna click update, and it's going to update the remote. Now, this, if you've watched my other video, you know, you know that well, apparently that thumb <laughs> isn't a finger or something. It won't bring it up. Anyway, you know the end of the video. And I will cut back in when everything's updated. Okay, so now we have updated the remote and the iPilot. And the reason I did that is because with the new update on the units and the new update on the iPilot, you can actually use the heading sensor from the trolling motor for iPilot Link. You can actually use the heading sensor as a heading sensor on the unit. So I'll try to get a video made and get that up, you know, some instructions about that. I still have a little bit of testing to do with that, so I don't know what I did. <laughs> but anyway, okay, I hope that helps you. Later. Bye.